Good afternoon, we are on Saturday the 25th of June. This is a special day, Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Mother of Jesus. But I'm going to be sharing healing prayers for every day and I'll incorporate a few of the letters, a, a, a few of the prayers of Our Lady. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Prayer to my guardian angel and yours. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Because angels protect us, we always need to pray for their protection. So I'm going to do the prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for all of us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be, rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And in temptation, Lord, save me, or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. And prayer if we are in trouble. In all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done, praised and exalted above all forever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And a prayer for those in sickness and pain I must admit I've been in pain with a horrible infected toe but I've followed the doctor's instructions and uh, taking the um, antibiotic on an empty stomach and it's working the pain is physically reducing so these modern medicines are good and they do work but you only need to take them when necessary um, and I must say that I do when necessary. So in sickness and pain, and this is for all of you who are in any form of sickness or pain, even mental health pain, Lord, your will be done. I take this for my sins. I offer up to you my suffering, together with all that my Saviour has suffered for me, and I beg you, through his suffering, to have mercy on me, free me from this illness and pain, if you will, and if it is to be for my good. You love me too much to let me suffer, unless it be for my good. Therefore, O Lord, I trust myself to you. With me, do with me as you please in sickness and in health. I wish to love you always. Amen. And I pray for chastity for all. O oh my God, teach me to love others with the purity of your Holy Mother. Give me the grace to resist firmly every temptation to impure thoughts, words or actions. Teach me always to love with generosity and goodness, to respect myself and others in the way I act, and to reverence the way that you have given us for the creation of new life, and respect life given by God always and every time. Protect the unborn. In thanksgiving, 
My God, from my heart I thank you for the many blessings you have given me. I thank you for having created and baptized me and for having placed me in your holy Catholic Church and for having given me so many graces and mercies through the merits of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, dear Jesus, for having become a little child for my sake to teach me to be holy and humble like you and for having died upon the cross that I might have pardon for my sins and get to heaven. Also I thank you for all your other mercies, most of all those you have given me today. The weather, the sunshine, the breeze, life, Make, it feels wonderful in summertime, doesn't it? It's really, really a lovely time to be alive. So now I'm going to share with you the um, healing prayer for today. The meditation is taken from Romans 7. This is for the 25th of June, 2022. Romans 7, verse 19. Four. I do not do the good I desire, rather it is the evil I do not desire that I end up doing. The reflection, the devil made me do it. Sometimes we say this in jest, but if we stop and think, we know that falling into sin does not just happen, not just like that. So we need to ask for protection against the evil one, hence the prayers. You hear me regularly say, Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. That's all you need to say daily, regularly. That helps you and the Our Father. Very another, another very powerful prayer. We need to ask protection against the evil one for forgiveness when we fall and for the grace to turn away from sin. That's the hard part, isn't it? Turning away from sin really is hard. I'm not saying it's easy for anybody. Once you get in the habit, it will become a regular habit and that's the secret. So. The prayer for today, as we all sin, every one of us, thought, word and deed. Don't you often hear people say, oh I'm a good person. Examine your conscience and you'll find you're not as good as you think you are. I do that all the time and get cross with myself. Trust me, none of us are good. The only one who is good is Jesus Christ himself. Lord, you know I love you, and yet I am weak, very weak, and need your grace to avoid sin. Help me to do what you want. Amen. Before I continue with a few more prayers honouring Our Lady, I have to comment that that was a very powerful little meditation in healing prayers because our healing comes through the forgiveness but unless we know we're in sin and we we must ask them for forgiveness and we must go to confession confess our sins and the confessional is the most healing place and the holy eucharist that you could have it, the sacraments of the church and that helps you. So the more often you can receive Jesus, and the more often you can go to confession, if you have a priest near you, um, 
it helps your walk and helps you because people think that sinning is physically just doing something. It's everything about us. Everything about our humanity is in front of temptation is all around us. And how you live with people. Because um, gossiping is a big problem for everybody. It causes damage, so much damage. We have to be very careful. It's just something you know, because people want to be friendly. If you live in a building like I do, they want to be friendly, but they can cause trouble. You have to think before you speak sometimes, or you cause a lot of problems. All of us are guilty too, very guilty. Um, I'll give you an example before I continue with the prayers. This is a small building, but it looks big. But you cannot have stacks of crates and boxes piled up near an exit door, in front of a locked door, which is a storage room at the bottom of the stairs, because we're all over 55. In fact, right up, we've had one lady only move this year 102 go into a care home. This is independent living. So you have to care for one another. So if there's a stack of unknown who, who they belong to in an entrance exit, our manager's off ill for weeks and weeks. We have, a, we have cover in place, but it isn't that you have someone in the building every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's covered, but the other days are not, and not even then. We'll have someone in Monday, someone in Tuesday, and maybe someone in on Thursday at the moment. Which is okay. But when there's a pile of stuff there, who's responsible for it? If there was a fire and the people had to come downstairs, that might be a danger to them because it's at the bottom of the stairs. So I took a picture and I sent it to the manager's manager. And I don't have a problem with it because I didn't know who would put it there and what it was there for. I had no idea, I just knew that it shouldn't be there. And anyway, that, that was on Wednesday and Thursday, but it disappeared fortunately by Friday, but there was no manager in the building anyway. And um, the owner of it, who I didn't know was the owner, chased me along the corridor and today, and asked me if I had reported that being there to this manager's manager. I said, yes, I didn't know it was yours. I had a discussion and I advised the person to go and see that lady when she's in the building, 8 a.m. on Monday, and explain to her what she explained to me. But how did she find out that I had notified that lady who needed to know? Fortunately, I never had an argument with that person. It was sorted out between her and me, but I was trying to protect the whole building because you have to, if you have a conscience. But I could have caused trouble, but whoever passed it round to her, my, the one, the owner of it, who need, needs to do something with it all, it's a matter of survival, that could have caused a lot, a lot of trouble. But the Lord always helps me to talk to people. I have no problem saying, yes, I did. Because it's not just my, it isn't a personal thing. It's a whole, the whole lot of us who live here. You know, I mean, fires spread quickly. You can't have obstacles in the way, in an exit area. So I was diplomatic, but gossiping can cause trouble. That could have uh, caused trouble between the person and me, but 
I wouldn't, the spirit in me wouldn't allow that to, to happen, but it could. So this is why we need to pray, cover ourselves with prayer. I'm not perfect, I'm a sinner too. <laughs> That's why I pray. So I'm going to continue honouring Our Lady with a few prayers. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail to thee, true body, Ave Virum Corpus. Hail to thee, true body born, from the Virgin Mary's womb, the same that on the cross was nailed and bore for man the bitter doom. Thou whose side was pierced and flowed both with water and with blood, suffer us to taste of thee in our life's last agony. O kind, O loving one, a sweet Jesus, Mary's son, victim saving us from sin, O Sal Tutaris, O victim saving us from sin, who opens heaven's gates to us. From Satan now temptations come, give health, give strength and bring us health. To you, one God in persons three, we offer everlasting praise who will give us life that never ends. In heaven, our homeland true. Amen. Prayer in honour of Our Lady, Mother full of sorrow, Stabat Mater. Mary full of sorrow, stood tearfully beside the cross, on which hung her only son. Full of grief with him she suffered, as the sword of bitter sorrow pierced her mourning soul with pain. Oh, how sad and deeply pained was the Blessed Virgin Mother of the only Son of God. His dear loving mother wept in her sorrow as she watched all the pains of Christ her Son. Is there one who would not weep? Christ's own mother could see could he see bearing such great agony? Who while watching Christ's dear mother suffering with her only son could refuse to mourn with her? She saw Jesus in his torments and his body torn with scourges for the sins that we commit. Still, she watched her loving son torn with pain in soul and body till the moment of his death. O oh, my mother full of love, let me share your weight of pain so that I may weep with you, so that I may always please him. Grant that my poor heart may burn with love of Christ my God. Holy Mother, grant this prayer. Let the wounds of Jesus Christ firmly in my heart be fixed. Let me share with you the pain of your loving wounded son, freely suffering for me. Let me weep with you through love, mourning for the crucified, Every day that I will live, I desire to stand beside you, near the cross, and take a share in your weeping and lament. Virgin of all virgins best, show your tender-hearted love. Let me weep and mourn with you. Let me bear the cross of Christ. Let me share with him his passion and remember all his wounds. May his wounds now wound my heart. May his cross and precious blood take away all selfishness. Virgin, my poor soul defend on the judgment day of God, lest in fire of hell I burn. Christ, when I am called to you, let me, by your mother's prayers, gain the crown of victory 
when my body comes to die, grant my soul may reach its home in the joys of paradise. Finally, praise of Our Lady. You are all beautiful, Mary. You were always free from original sin. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of the people of God. You are the great honor of our human race. You are the helper of sinners. O Mary, O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray to the Lord Jesus Christ for us. And prayer for Mary's protection. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not refuse to hear our prayers in our needs but save us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. I don't know why, but I did two of those, one at that and one at the final. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. I'm praying for all those who don't need to say who they are or where they are or comment. You're in my prayers because we all have reasons why we want to remain hidden. And sometimes it's best, sometimes it's safe. But I know that you are there sometimes. And God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring. And my regulars, God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. I still have some more recordings to do. We'll see how much I can get through today. I've no excuse not to, except that the fact is I still feel spaced out and ready I could actually fall asleep. <laughs> That's one good reason. I could, I could easily, it's because I'm not used to taking any medication, so it kind of, you know, you're, you're not with it really completely. So I, I could easily rest instead of record, but I'll carry on while I may. I still want to do what I've committed myself to do. No one's telling me to do it. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs>